Hey, this is Bobby at Gloss. Bobby G is here to talk to you today about collecting autographs in person and how to be prepared. Whenever I go to an autograph collecting, whether it be a book signing, a meet and greet, backstage, a performance, or what have you, I always bring with me the tools of the trade in my to me. In my to me, I have the necessities. You always have to have a photo just in case you run into Beckham. I got Posh in there as well. Additionally, you need to have your Sharpies. You gotta have the blue ones because they look the best on 8x10 glossies. And you also need the metallic ones because they look good on dark surfaces. And you gotta have doubles because sometimes they run out of ink at the most bad times. Additionally, index cards. I always carry index cards in case you run into random celebrities. Guess who does that all the time? Me. I also have business cards in case the celebrity, which they actually have done, says to me, hey, where are you going to put that? Or do you have other autographs? Or who are you? Um, or fans who are there of the celebrity and they're like, oh my god, do you have other autographs? Business cards, key. To me, tools of the trade. And I'm not a paid spokesperson. So, whenever you go to a show, you also need to think to yourself, hmm, who is the person married to? Who do they work with? Who is in the area that might come to see them? Who are their friends, etc. And be prepared. So, on August 30th of 2011, I went to go see Peter Asher. Who is Peter Asher, you say? Well, he was performing at the Hotel Nico at the Raz Room in San Francisco, and he is part of 1960s uh, rock duo from England known as Peter and Gordon, who sang World Without Love, Woman, and my favorite from my mom's box of 45s when I was a kid, Lady Godiva. But more importantly, or equally important, Peter was the producer, and actually initially the manager, um, of Linda Ronstadt, and made her internationally famous. He did the same thing with James Taylor and his Mudslide Slim in the Blue Horizon album, featuring this song, You've Got a Friend, You've Got a Friend um, by Carole King. Um, and he was the producer of so many others, Cher, Diana Ross, Neil Diamond, you name it. He's a big producer. So I go there and I have, oh, where's the Toomey? It's over here. I had the Toomey and the guy sitting next to me says, hey, what, what do you have in there? And I said, oh, I have pictures of, of Peter from when he was with Peter and Gordon. He said, can I take a look? So he looked through and he said, why do you have pictures of Robin Williams and Linda Ronstadt in here? And I said, well, they all work together, and since Robin and Linda live in the area, they might show up since this is Peter's first show. And he freaking laughed at me. And I said, dude, it's always good to be... Oh, tsk. hold on a second. Somebody had just walked in. <sighs> Hello, Robin. Could you please sign this for me? You're such a gracious gentleman. He really is. Robin was a great guy. And... Robin, congratulations on your Grammy-winning collaboration with Peter. I'm so glad that you're here for the show tonight. I kind of expected you to be so. I go back to my seat, and the guy was like, are you freaking kidding me? And I said, no, as I told you, it's good to be pro Oh! Seated in the booth in front of us. Hi, Linda. I had a feeling you'd be here. Do you mind signing this for me? I had, it's going to be such a good show with Peter tonight. I have to tell you, incidentally, Linda Ronstadt one time said no to me in the past, and this time she was just a doll. She was a living doll, so sweet and kind and just the most adorable thing. So after the show, Peter was signing, and I have original stills. I have thousands of original stills. I have original stills of Peter and Gordon, so he's sitting down, he's signing. He used his own black pen on the first one, which I quickly corrected by giving him a blue pen. See how much better the blue pen looks on the second one? And he had been on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine with Linda Ronstadt and James Taylor, and I had printed out a copy of that. And so Linda had already signed it for me earlier. And as Peter was signing it, a hand comes over to shake Peter's hand, and he said, oh, you should have that guy sign it too. Ben, Ben Fong Torres, the writer of this article from the 70s, was at the performance as well. Bam! One, two, three, four autographs for one celebrity. Why? Because as my friend Papa says, opportunity favors the prepared. So, once again, leaning out on her, once again, I'm not a paid spokesperson, but you gotta have a to me. You gotta have the tools of the trade. You gotta have a photo or something for them to sign. You gotta have your Sharpies and different colors. You have to have your index cards, and you have to have a good attitude. 
be prepared. Go get those autographs and keep collecting. Until then, or until next time I see you, I wish you all the best. Bobby G.